I'm going to talk about the heroic age of Antarctic exploration. That these men got into these things, and what they did might be termed by people on the outside as heroic, but actually it was just people doing their job. It was doing what they had set out to do, what they had committed themselves to do. Tom Crean and Bill Lashley and Teddy Evans, Lieutenant Teddy Evans, made. They were the last supporting party that went with Scott towards the South Pole. Now they thought they had a lot of food. They had about 4,500 calories per man per day to do this. And what they didn't realize was they needed about 6,800 calories per man per day to do this amount of work. Is at this particular moment Scott suddenly changes his mind and he wants to take a man out of our tent onto the pole with him. So it'll be five going onto the South Pole in greater glory and three of us are going to turn them. Some of these crevasses, these deep, deep cracks in the ice, they look bottomless. They look like there's no end to them. The officer gives the orders and the men follow the orders. Lieutenant Evans says, well boys, shall we go in? And they say, well, it's for you to, to say, you're the officer. So he says, well, let's do it. Well, they get into a mess. And there's a place where a snow bridge is formed. We three have to get across this bridge, and we have to get our sledge across. And the sledge gets across. They make their way to the next depot that they have set. Crean and, and Lashley look at their officer, and they notice that his gums are getting all puffy and swell out. He ordered them to leave him behind. And they said, no, sir. We are the masters today. Some, there are some things that are, it's not a sacrifice. It's not really heroic. It's just someone doing what they've got to do. And they decide that Tom Crean is going to be the one to walk this last 30 miles. So he takes three sticks of chocolate and three biscuits and he puts them in his pocket. And he put one in a special pocket and Lashley said, well, why'd you put that there? And he said, oh, that's for emergencies. <laughs> and he gets to the discovery hut and he hears some dogs barking. Good sign. So he... And they open the door. There's two men inside. They open the door and they, Cream, what are you doing here? And had he never made it to the hut, then the other two men would certainly have died. <laughs>